Welcome back to our uh, part two of the construction of our compost bins. We're a little late starting today, but there's a good reason for that. We might not look it, but we became grandparents for the second time this morning. Well, I might not look it, but these greys... <gasps> <oof. laughs> yeah. oh, I'm a little overdue. Yep, at, uh, just <laughs> before one o'clock, little Tom Wright yep, came so. into the world. So uh, we're all happy. Uh, we've only seen photos because of, we can't get access to the ho uh, hotel, to hospital. the hospital. Um, but hopefully he'll be out by Saturday and we'll be able to see him then. At the moment we're looking after our first granddaughter, Margot. Oh, so Margo. um, we're going to go and pick her up from uh, nursery in a little while. Right, so let's get on with the build. Uh, we're constructing these three compost bins with telegraph poles. Uh, we're going to put those in the ground using our auger now and uh, hopefully we'll talk you through it. All right, let's get on. So that's three, 350 millimetres. This auger gives a really nice flat bottom. Like Cheap. There's it wrong with my derriere, Miss you right? Yeah. Ian likes a flat bottom. Look at that. He's happy. Ian's got a friend. Wormy, wormy. So, so the back posts are going to be 160 high plus we're going to have the rafter on top but it's whether I dig the hole another five centimeters to make that 160 or do I just put all the posts in and trim them off at the top stick a comment in the bottom just to see whether uh, what you would think I'm tending towards leaving it as it is and then trimming the top off at a slight angle for the rafter to sit nicely. So, so we have this issue when we uh, did the main gate posts. Telegraph poles are not the same uh, dimension all the way up. Uh, so it's thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top. So it's hard to get to see whether they're level or not. So I've put up my straight edge. And again, it's another one of those um, by eye so at the bottom you can see that it's touching, at the top it isn't. So we'll just have to go for a uh, about right for now. We're filling in holes everywhere and Floki just keeps making more holes. I'm going to have to get them a uniform. No dig sausage. Look at him. Up to no good. Mouth full of mud. Uh -oh. <laughs> Last log going in. Last post. Stop moaning. This is the heaviest one. It is a big one. Yay! It's in. So the last one's in. Um, I didn't really bother about heights. Uh, it's just too difficult. They're all different heights, uh, all different bottomed uh, pits. So I put them in. Um, they're all above 160 here, all above 180 there. And then when I start putting in the cross braces, I'll straighten everything up, 
trim off the tops to the lowest one and we'll go from there. Okay, I'll just podge these in. So I'm just podging these in just to get them a little square, but I'll, uh, I'll straighten them all up when we put the cross braces in. Posts aren't, uh, aren't square, so uh, each one I'm just overcutting slightly and then uh, offering it up to the post and marking it by eye.
Well, I've had to finish a little bit early. All my uh, batteries have run out, so we'll get those charged tonight. But uh, the general shape is coming along now. So as you can see, we're putting three rails in. Uh, the two rails at the bottom will be the height of the siding and we're going to have some corrugated iron just on the inside to stop any rotting or whatever. And then the roof will be pitched about 10 degrees and this is the top plate and we'll put another top plate on the, uh, the higher posts. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow, so see you then. We're just finishing the... Oh dear. Freya's in Dad's bad books. She won't stop digging. She doesn't do it in the garden at home, so why she started doing it here, she's become quite obsessed with it. So, putting that aside, we've just come back to the field this morning, so we're starting to just install the last three ends of the um, compost bins, and then we'll start cutting wood for the siding and prior to that we we're a little late started again this morning but that was pretty special because this morning we actually got to see um, baby Tom our grandson for the first time um, they were let out of hospital this morning and we've not been able to go and visit hospital obviously with the Covid restriction so oh, it was super special to actually see him in person instead of just photos so, we've been seeing them now we're back here nice weather Hopefully it's in for the week, so uh, this project should wrap up pretty quick and then we can move on to um, installing the polytunnel plastic. Some protection. Julie's special blend. Oil and diesel. Julie's special mix diesel and old engine oil. It's a bit of a challenge for the aerial three in one pods. But just remember, always close the lid and keep away from children. I need longer legs. I can't see, Mr. Wild, I can't see. Right, it's a bit of protection for me. Sunday afternoon and um, we've finished the main framing of the compost bins. So there's three bins each one meter twenty wide, which is just a little bit wider than the bucket on our little tractor, and they're one fifty deep. As I said, it's Sunday afternoon, and typical, we've run out of the long screws that we need to secure the rafters and the top plate. So unfortunately, we can't continue today. We were hoping to get this finished today. So tomorrow morning, off to the builder supplies, and then um, we'll continue. But that section the siding and the roof we'll put that in the next video so if you want to subscribe hit that button below and happy to have you aboard so here we go on with the project it keeps rolling on well, finished. Well, I'll say but just remember always close the lid and keep away from children as the advert says well, you can cut that last bit out then, you misery.